Welcome back. This lecture is about monetization and Unity Ads. Monetization is a process of earning revenue from an asset. In our case, the game we have made is our asset. And now quickly open your Unity account, go to project management and create a new project. Type in the project name ER test project. Click on create project. Click on our newly created project to see the project details. Now we have created our project. Now let's go back to Unity dashboard. You can directly click on Unity dashboard at upper left corner. Unity provides tons of other services as well. But in this lecture, we are going to use the monetization. Click on explore. It will open your project list and it's asking which project you want to use with the monetization. And this is the main page of monetization. Now quickly click on enable ads. You can select options according to your project. I'm selecting no, I want to start afresh and no, I'm using only Unity ads. Click OK to save and it will enable the ads and takes you to the placement tab. On the left side, we have a game IDs and on the right side, we have an ads placement. Placement ID is important. We're going to use this placement ID later in the project. And second placement is rewarded video ad. Once your ads start revenue in the production build, you can see the details in the overview tab. Let's go back to Unity, open the project setting, and then go to Ads under the Service tab. Click on Use an existing project, select your organization, and select your existing project that we have created in the Unity dashboard. Click on Link Project, click OK. So now we have linked our project with the Unity Ads. And now our ad is turned on. Once the project is linked, we can also find our game IDs in the Unity as well. As we are working on a development build, so it's safe to turn on the test mode for the ads. Click on enable test mode. Otherwise, our monetization account can be suspended because of unethical clicks and impressions. So it's better to have a test mode while development. Create a new script, name it as Unity Ads. To utilize Unity Ads, we will be importing a library of dot advertisement class name unity ads here we are adding a check for android and ios game ids we will make unity ads a simpleton as we did for the sound manager adding variables for ads placement banner video and rewarded video ads in the wake method we are making it as a singleton so we can have only one instance of unity ad in our game For the safety check, I'm checking is the reward video button is assigned. If it's assigned, using advertisement dot is ready. We are asking is the ad is ready to show. And we are adding a listener. So when user will tap on the button, if ad is available to show, it will show the ad. Initializing the Unity advertisement by giving the game ID and test mode status. And we are making it don't destroy using the don't destroy on load method. Our Unity ads will not be destroyed while switching scene. Using this code routine, we will hold for a few seconds and then show the ad. Here we have added an extra alert message to tell the user ad is coming. And once the ad is loaded, we will disable the message. But at the final, we might not choose it. To show the rewarded ad, we are using advertisement.show and giving the placement ID of rewarded ad. Here we are implementing the Unity listeners. It helps to understand the status of the ad. Like one case is reward the user for watching the complete ad. If user has skipped the ad, then act accordingly. If ad is not loaded, it could fail, then we can do action accordingly. In this method, we are checking is the rewarded ad is ready, then show the rewarded ad. And next, these are the methods for implementing the banner ads of Unity. We are using a core routine. And advertisement.banner.setPosition. Banner position dot bottom underscore center. It's telling the right position of the ad where we want to show the ad. In our case, I want to show ad at bottom center. 
Although our script is completed, let's take a look and remove few extra things. I am removing ads alert text, game object. Here, remove it. And also here. Okay. Right now, in this lecture, we are showing only a video ad using show video ad method. Our script is completed and next we will create a Unity ad game object and we will assign our Unity ad script to the game object and then we will assign our game IDs and placement ID to the uh, Unity ad. From here, copy Android game ID and paste it here. We can also copy game ID from here. Match all these IDs with the IDs you have created on Unity dashboard. Copy ID from here and paste it here. And this is the ID for rewarded video. We can also test the Unity ads in the editor. Click on this play button and start the game. In the Unity ad, we have initialized the video ad at the start. And now we are expecting at the start, we should get a video ad. Congratulations, it's working great. In the editor and in the safe mode, it looks like this. But when you go into the production, it will show you the actual video ad. It's working on device as well. If you want to learn more from basic to advanced in a complete course, you can join me in my new Unity course. It's a complete course designed to learn augmented reality with latest version of Unity. Developing the complete game from scratch, step by step in a practical way. Including the monetization and publishing to the App Store and Google Play Store. In this course, we will be creating a simple AR app. App is divided into a sub problems in a sequence and each lecture is solving it. To make it easier, I will be highlighting the important parts in the video. And of each lecture, we will be testing a build on a device. This project used generic AR techniques. These techniques can be applied to any AR project. After completing this course, you will be confident to create your own idea. And these are the main highlights of the project. And throughout the course, I will be available to answer any question. This course can really benefit to the students who really want to develop an augmented reality app or game development using Unity latest versions. Looking forward to see you in the course. At the end of this course, I will summarize the whole course. After completing this series, you will be able to start your own augmented reality project. You can find the course link in the description.